Have you ever prayed about something and instead of it getting better, it actually got worse? If that's what you've experienced and you're wondering why, then watch this video to the end. You know, sometime in my prayer life, I'm really praying about a certain situation or praying to change something. Let's assume that the problem is on the scale of 10. And I'm praying that as I'm praying, I'm hoping that it will decrease to zero or be exterminated. I find the problem going to the scale of 15, to the scale of 20. And I'm wondering why am I praying? Is my praying making this worse at all? The reason I'm saying those things to you is this, because when you're in that kind of situation, there is a tendency for you to be very discouraged, heartbroken, feel as if God has failed you, God does not love you, feel as if the world is turning against you. But why does this happen? Mark chapter 4 tells us that persecution arises for the word's sake. Sometimes when you are praying, Satan amplifies the pressure, hoping that you will give up. Satan amplifies the pressure hoping that you gave up. So the reason why seem to seem to be getting worse is that there's an amplification of satanic pressure, hoping you will give up. But as a child of God, that's not what you do. So what do you do when you're praying and things get worse? What I've learned is this. I've learned this from the Bible. The Bible says when Abraham was praying and things was getting worse, his body was growing older. What he did was to begin to give glory to God. The second thing is this. The Bible says this. There was a woman that wanted just attention and she didn't get it. And she went into a place of worship. If you're praying about something and maybe it's getting worse and the delay is getting closer, maybe this is the season where you're just going to Thanksgiving, appreciating the power of God, appreciating the sovereignty of God, appreciating that God has done it already. By doing that, the Bible says God inhabits the praises of his people. He says, I will enter his curse with Thanksgiving as you do that. There will be that moment where the power of God will come into the situation. Remember the story of Paul and Silas. They got into trouble for preaching the gospel. Instead of them to pray, instead of them to cry, the Bible says Paul and Silas sang and they praised God. And the prison doors opened of their own accord. You'll be like, you be today like Abraham. Instead of just looking at the things that are going wrong and it's getting worse, just begin to give glory to God. Begin to bless his holy name. Begin to honor him. Begin to thank him because he's good, because he's kind, because he's faithful. You know what the Bible says? The Bible says in John chapter 10 verse 35, it says the scripture cannot be broken. That will be your story in Jesus' mighty name. I want to tag two or three people in this video. I want to follow, share with your friends. If you have a question, put in the in the comment section, tag someone. Thank you and God 